What's good, y'all? It's your boy Sid here. I'm back again with another video. Today, we're gonna be doing a Q&A. For the two of you that don't know what that means, that's question and answers. On my social media, I ask you guys to ask me a few questions so that the people that don't know me can get to know me a little bit better. And I was overwhelmed with the amount of questions that I got. I really appreciate you guys for the feedback. Um, today, I'm wearing my Black Joy Every Season pajamas. I got these from Target. Now, I'm pretty sure y'all know, but Target is always killing it every year with the inclusivity and make sure that everybody is included. I'm talking about all backgrounds, no matter your color, your religion. They make sure that they got y'all covered. I love Target. We all know how it is with Target. You go in there expecting to spend $3 and you walk out completely broke. So yeah, I love Target. Without further ado, we're gonna get into these questions real quick. So the first question that I got here is gonna be, what are some sneaker basics for a boy mom to know? So in my personal opinion, I like to say, as a boy mom, you definitely want to avoid any Team Jordan. Those are not it. Any Fusion, stay away from those. And any shoe that's made by Nike, and it kind of look like an Air Force One a little bit, but it doesn't say Air Force One on it, or on the box or anything, stay away from those. That's a real good question though. This is something that not everybody knows about, so I appreciate you for asking that question. That was a good one. All right, next question. It says, what is a non-controversial, unpopular opinion that you have? So for whatever reason, every time I post any type of opinion online, it becomes a controversial topic. I don't know why, but that's just how it is with me. So they're all pretty controversial, but I will say that like on a lighter note, I say that an opinion of mine that I think is unpopular, but not controversial. That's a good question. I say this. Chitlins are absolutely delicious. I don't care what y'all say. People are always talking about how disgusting they are, how they stink, yeah, all right. They stink so good. I don't eat them all the time. I don't wanna hear it. I haven't had them in a, quite a long time. And the last time I had them, it had been a long time before then. So it ain't something that I eat all the time, but I think that they are delicious. I consider them like a delicacy for sure. Mwah. The next question. It says, how is the atmosphere in ATL compared to your hometown? So I'm from a small city from Flint, Michigan, for those of y'all that don't know. With me being from a small city, it's like everybody knows everybody. There's no privacy, so to speak. Let's just say like your car breaking down or something and you pushing your car. Within like 30 minutes, you're gonna have a DM like, bro, I think I just saw you pushing your car down Court Street. Was that you? So it's like, there's no privacy for real. Um, out here, it's more wide open. That's like one of the biggest things. Another thing is that with me being from a small city, I can't really get used to like seeing celebrities all the time. Like I see celebrities everywhere I go. I've literally been at house parties with them, um, you know, chopped it up with them in stores. Seen Future one time at the Louis store. So it's like stuff like that you can't really get used to being from a small city like how I'm from. But you know, everywhere got its pros and cons. But shout out to Flint though. Everybody back home in the A1O, I miss y'all. All right, next question. It says, what is the goal with creating a YouTube channel? Do you want to monetize it? Now, with me personally, anything that I get into that I turn into a passion of mine, of course the goal is to like get a dollar up out of it. So I definitely want to monetize this channel. My goal with creating this YouTube channel is to just like kind of share myself, share my family, share what I got going on on a daily basis with y'all. I kind of think I'm funny. I don't know if y'all agree. I like to be able to share my sense of humor with you guys and spread love through laughter. We all know that laughter is the best medicine, so hopefully y'all find something funny within these videos and you're able to get you a good smile and a good laugh in. All right, next question. It says, what is your goals for the new year? Um, A few goals that I have for the new year is like literally the same goals that I have every year is keep elevating, keep being better, be more healthy. I think that I'm in the best shape that I've been in a long time. I'm losing weight in my midsection. I kind of had the dad bod going on. So that's something good. Um, another thing is to keep my sobriety going. I have been completely free of alcohol since August 26th. And right now it's December the 19th. So I wanna keep that going. That's something I wanna do for the new year. And another thing is I wanna turn this YouTube page up and start my business. I got a business that I'm about to start with Sierra. And it's something that I think that could be very lucrative. So yeah, that's something that I'm really looking forward to for the next year is getting my business off the ground and bringing more videos like this to y'all. Next question says, are you gonna start styling people? So with styling, 
I kind of got like a love-hate relationship with it. I don't really have the patience for it. With me having kids, I think all my patience is directed to them. However, if we can talk in the business side of it, it makes sense for me. I'm always open to do it. If you see this and you need to be styled, reach out to me. But as far as me making it like my top priority, like how I wanted to before, I don't really see that happening right now. But yeah, that's always something that I always have love for. So next question says, what was your worst sneaker purchase of all time and why? This shoe right here, I hate this shoe so much. I have no clue why I bought it. Actually, I do know why I bought it. I initially wanted this shoe because back in the day when this shoe came out, which is the undefeated dunk, I wanted this shoe so bad. I thought that this shoe was so dope. I still think that it's so dope. And they just dropped the Air Force One that looks like that and it's patent leather. So I'm all over that. I definitely will have that undefeated Air Force One. But this shoe right here, I absolutely hate it. I knew when I bought it, I'm like, man, this is lame. The color blocking is not the same as the Dunks. I wanted it because of the colors, but once I put the shoe on my foot, I realized that I had made a mistake. I seen so many bad outfits with this shoe. I couldn't really do nothing with it without being super matchy matchy, and I just hate it. When I look back on the pictures that I took wearing this shoe, I cringe all the time. That's why if you look at my Instagram right now, all of those pictures are gone. When I see that shoe on my page, I hate it. So yeah, the next question it says, do you think that the shoe game is ruined? So uh, yes and no. I kind of think that the shoe game is ruined. We know that resellers kind of ruins the shoe game, made it super hard to get anything. They buy up all the shoes in bulk. They use these bots and we don't really have a chance to buy them at retail price. But for me personally, I feel like that's kind of a blessing and a curse because now you don't have to worry about everybody wearing your shoes, especially the more exclusive shoes. You don't have to worry about everybody wearing it because not everybody can afford it. So those more rare shoes, they might mark the price up on them like crazy, but at the same time, they create like a certain level of exclusivity, if you will. So for me, that's kind of a gift and curse because I don't like going out seeing everybody wearing the same thing as me. So yeah shoe game is kind of dead but at the same time it's just what you make it as long as you got money and you can pay to play you don't have to worry about the game being dead or not all right so the next question says what inspired you to make a youtube channel so honestly what inspired me to make a youtube channel is y'all i would make statuses on facebook or make posts on instagram talking about things that my family would say like the funny things that my kids would do um funny conversations that we would have as a family and Every time I post something, it's almost like people couldn't believe it. They're like, man, I wish we were in y'all crib. Like, y'all need to make a YouTube. And people was telling me that all the time. I kind of wanted to back then, and then I kind of like shied away from it. But just recently, I got like a newfound confidence. And yeah, like I feel like the camera loves me. I love the camera. So yeah, that's what kind of caused me to regain my interest and want to do a YouTube channel. So next question, what brand are you shopping the most right now? So right now, I wouldn't say that I'm shopping a particular brand. Um, I like a lot of different stuff. I like to dress a lot of different ways. I don't feel like to feel like I'm being boxed in. I will say that ERL, they got a lot of good stuff out right now. Givenchy is kind of killing it right now. You know, these high-end brands, they have moments where they kind of kill it and then they kind of fade out and they start back killing it again. My favorite two brands right now that I would say that I've been buying the most would be Cactus Plant Flea Market and St. Michael. Next question. It said, what's good with Amiri's? They dead now or what? So it's like a personal style type of thing. You know, it's all about what you like. Me personally, I got rid of all my Amiri's because I would look back at pictures of me wearing the super skinny jeans and I kind of cringe a little bit. I feel like I ruined a lot of fits with the super skinny jeans. They did have a good run though with the skinnies. I'm just personally over it. But I will say that they got good clothes. They got good jackets, t-shirts, button downs and they also got like some baggier pants some more loose fitting pants that are good they got like some dope cargoes out and so amiri is definitely not dead it's just that the skinnies is something that i kind of got away from so next question it says do you want more kids or are you guys happy with two i'm completely done i always say that i got two and i'm through like i couldn't see myself having any more kids just to add to it i'm 36 years old i couldn't see myself being an old man with an 18 year old like let me see if I'm doing the math on that correctly. By the time he's 18, I'll be like 55. Or I couldn't see myself being 50 plus with a teenager. It's, it's over. 
Although I do get baby fever sometimes when I see those videos of like the cute little kids on my explore page, but that's about it. That's where it stops. The next question says, what is the talent that nobody knows you have? I could do this. <laughs> now, nah, but in all seriousness though, I could play the piano a little bit. That's like a talent that if you're not in my family, you might not know. I play by ear, I never really had lessons. In fact, the beat that y'all hear playing on my intro, I actually made that on GarageBand, playing the piano. So yeah, I could play the piano a little bit. Never really got into it enough to like get lessons. Although I wish I would have, I'd probably be crazy right now making beats, you know. All right, next question. It says celebrity crush. I don't really got a celebrity crush like that. Like back in the day when I was coming up, like I was crushing on a lot of celebrities. But again, like I said, since I got grown and I moved to Atlanta, I see celebrities all the time. Like I couldn't really say I'm crushing on one of them because sometimes you meet these people and they ain't the nicest people. I don't really want to say I'm crushing on somebody. Although I will say as far as like a beautiful celebrity, I say like Lupita Nyong'o. She's absolutely gorgeous to me. Plus she's super talented. Oh yeah, if I gotta just pick somebody, I'll go with her. So the next question, it says, would you rather be able to fly or be invisible? Now this question is super funny to me because this question actually came up within my family. One day we were discussing like what superhero power you like to have with the kids. And it came down to these two kind of. Me personally, I like to be able to fly because who wouldn't want to fly? Like that's super cool. You don't have to pay for a plane ticket no more. You ain't got to go through TSA. Now with being invisible, it's kind of cool when you think about it, but it's like, what would you do being invisible? Like, like you'd be super creepy, bro. Like that's creepy. Like when you really think about it, it's like, I'm just invisible, like walking around like, then on top of that, you got to be naked. Like, nah, it's like, what if I sneeze and then my powers go away and I'm standing there naked. So now I'm like in the stock room at Saks trying to figure out what I can steal butt naked and somebody catch me. Now I'm about to lose custody of my kids. Oh, I start thinking about like all this stuff. <laughs> nah, I don't want to be invisible. All right, so next question. Where's your favorite place to go on vacation? So my current favorite place is Miami. I haven't been out the country. Only time I ever been out the country for real is Canada and I don't really count that. And I don't even have my passport right now. Oh, I know. It's embarrassing, I don't got my passport. But when I get it, it's a few places that I do want to go. I want to go to the Maldives. I saw an amazing resort there that I want to go visit. I want to go to Mykonos, Greece, or Santorini, or anywhere in Greece. I know y'all see those views. All the influencers go there. Those views are amazing. And probably the top place that I want to go is Switzerland. I know y'all probably like, what? But no, seriously, Switzerland is lit. It's an Instagram page that I follow called Wonderful Switzerland. I post it there. Man. Make sure you follow this page. I'm talking about some of the most breathtaking views, some of the most lit scenery you'll ever see in your life. I definitely want to go to Switzerland. That's like probably the number one place that I want to visit abroad. So next question, it says, what do you miss most about being younger? Um, I don't really miss too much. Like I, I, I'm thankful for the memories, but I always be looking forward. But one thing that I will say that I kind of miss is hanging out with my cousins. Like as we all got older and got our families and stuff, we kind of grew apart and I rarely talk to my cousins now. But yeah, like back in the day, we had so much fun, like me and all my cousins. That's one thing that I really miss. So shout out to all my cousins. If you see this video, give me a call, man. I miss y'all. So these next two questions, they kind of go hand in hand. So I answer them together. It says, have you always had an eye for fashion or an interest in fashion? Or did something happen to trigger an interest? And it says, when did you start getting into fashion? What inspired you? So those kind of go hand in hand for me. So I'll answer them together. What kind of got me into fashion, I say, was sneakers. Like back in the day when I was like nine years old is when I first like really like fell in love with sneakers. I was getting sneakers and stuff before the end, but I remember getting this shoe right here and that changed everything for me. That's what really kind of got me into it. That's like the earliest memory that I have of wanting to be into fashion like that. Um, what kind of inspired me and motivated me to get into it would be my family members, honestly. My mom was super stylish back in the day. I got some cousins, shout out to my cousin Stevie. He was like the main one, super fresh all the time. And my big sister, she always had it on. She's like the first person that I seen spend over a thousand dollars on a shoe. She bought a pair of gators back in the day, I'll never forget it. But she always had like all the cool G and stuff like that. She didn't care about spending money on good fashion. I feel like 
I took it to the next level, honestly. I will say that I'm the main character of my family. Yes, sir! This nigga spitting! If you know, you know. It is what it is. But yeah, shout out to all my family members that get fresh. Y'all know who y'all are. It's definitely in us and not on us. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. I wanna thank everybody who sent in questions and participated. I really appreciate y'all. Y'all helped make this video possible. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna do another video before Christmas, but in case I don't, I wanna tell y'all that I hope y'all get everything that y'all want. I hope that y'all able to gift everything that y'all want, give everything that y'all want to y'all people, to y'all loved ones. So yeah, from my family to yours, yeah, that's y'all cute, come on. <laughs> So yeah, from my family to yours, I want to tell y'all Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever it is that you celebrate. I hope that it's amazing for you. And yeah, I just want to let y'all know that we love y'all, right? We do, yeah. Yes. We love y'all. And I just want to leave y'all with, matter of fact, nah, I'm not going to do it. Skyler's going to leave y'all with this too. Okay, if you're ever online shopping and you're not sure if the site is legit or if it's fake, hit up my dad. Nine times out of ten, he knows the answer. 10 times out of 10. I mean, I am kind of good at what you know I mean? I'm, I'm kind of good at what I do. So yeah, yeah, just reach out. Like if you're unsure about something, just reach out to me. I love to do it. I won't charge you nothing. That's lame. I really love what I do as far as like sourcing clothes and shoes and stuff like that. I, I really love it. Anybody who ever reached out to me know that I could find something just like that. So yeah, just reach out. So yeah, I'm about to go edit this video. But while I do that, make sure y'all hit that notification bell. That way you're able to know every time that I drop something. Make sure you leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that like button. It's absolutely free to support in those ways. So make sure y'all do that. Y'all been excellent in helping me grow my channel. And I appreciate every last one of y'all. So yeah, without further ado, we out. Bye.